Hello Cancer, it's your turn for your love and relationship reading. I'm going to kind of do a little bit different in this reading and get more in depth on what's going on with you and another person. Um, it's really funny because I already recorded your uh, video for your love and relationship, but for some reason I deleted it on accident, so I have to redo it. Um, but I already shuffled the cards, so it's already pre-shuffled and I already laid the cards out to make it easier. Um, but do keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may not apply to one or more cancers or just some of you. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, I'm feeling like for you cancers that, you know... With Empress, okay, let me read the cards. I always forget sometimes. The Empress came up, the King of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands, King of Swords, and the Two of Wands, and the Judgment. So I feel like the relationship is a very nurturing one. Um, with Empress, you could possibly be dealing with a Virgo, Earth sign, um, you know, we have air signs here too, so either or, I'm not really picky on exact who you're dealing with, but it looks like overall, you know, your, your relationship on whoever you're implying, you know, is a very giving relationship, is a very loving relationship with the Empress, um, but I just feel like, you know, some of you, not all of you, some of you, you know, you're worried about your finances, you know, the king of pentacles is showing up, you know, some of you could be um, trying to keep it together, trying to manage everything you have, and also to, you know, you're going towards something in your relationship, trying to move forward, um, now with, it's funny because you have the queen, and the king of swords so automatically i'm feeling like you could potentially be dealing with two air signs <clears throat> you know gemini libra aquarius possibly um it could be a masculine energy or feminine energy and i'm feeling like you know <clears throat> um you're dealing with a lot of truths here in the relationship the truths of what it is and what isn't and i just feel like you know when you get these two together you know they can be conflicting they can be you know strong on their beliefs strong in how they think strong where they want to go because i feel like in the relationship you are going somewhere um but i just feel like when it comes to home and family and stuff you know, you got the four wands in reverse. So I feel like, you know, there could be, you know, a shift dynamic in the family home setting where things are clear of the changes that need to happen and clear on where you need to go. But in order to move forward, you know, maybe you need to cut out something to um, make a forward expansion in your life and forward growth because there's a lot of growth for you but it just seems like it's kind of stagnant so and then you got the judgment card so i'm very sure that a lot of you cancers you are aware of things happening in the um, relationship dynamic you're aware of Whatever these things, you know, the king of sword, the queen of sword, it could be, you know, you're dealing with a male and a female here, or that's you both. Um, take it as you leave it or whatever. Um, where you're very clear on where you want to go, um, how you want to spend your money, how you want to, you know, expand on things. But I just feel like there's kind of like a, a shift happening and you're aware of what's going on. So... Do keep that in mind. And you know, your situation and your challenge. You have the Nine of Cups and the Seven of, you know, Pentacles. So I'm feeling, and this kind of happened with the Capricorn. They got that too. But in the downward position. 
Um, I feel like you're giving to the relationship, but I just feel like when it comes to your finances, it's a real struggle. And, you know, when our, ba our uh, balances, when our money is off balance in the relationship, it really affects us and it really gets us feeling like, you know, we've put so much of our time and some of you have, you know, those of you who work, you, you put in so much time and so much energy in the relationship that it can make you feel like you're always waiting on something. You know, you always, you see in the, um, this card, there's all these pinnacles over here, but there's always one on the bottom. So you could be giving so much to someone that you feel like there's this one thing you're looking at or not seeing that is there. You know, the love's there, the commitment's there, but also too, you're always lacking that one thing, I feel like, for some of you. Um, their situation, they got the Seven of Cups. And the hangman in reverse. So they're pretty pretty much feeling like they can't do anything. They're kind of at a standstill. And they're feeling like they have many um, opportunities. They have many choices on what they can do to keep things flowing. But maybe they're, you know, they, they can only do so much. That's what I'm feeling. So they're kind of stuck. And how to keep things flowing. How to keep things going. Um, how you see them is the six of wands, Cancer. So I feel with this, you see victory. You see success with this person that you um, are in a relationship. Um, there is a lot of movement going. Now they're having the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with, you know... For some of you, water, another water sign, or you, or the, wait, this is, yeah, this is how they feel about you, or that's how they feel. They, they see you as potential. They see you as someone they can give and receive the same love and dedication. They see you as a king, almost. That's what I'm feeling with that card. So it's like you're both mirroring each other in some light. Not all. You know, you want the same, you want the same things for the relationship. But what I'm seeing with this, you know, you're having to wait on things. And they're feeling, you know, maybe helpless in some way, stuck as a hangman. And they don't really know what to do. So I just feel like you guys need to communicate. You guys need to, you know, be clear. And that's what the reminder, the clean and clean. You know, you're... If you're a male, you're the king and the other person's a queen or vice versa. You know, you're the queen, they're the king. So you need to be very clear on what it is you want to do and how we can unbalance this situation like that and make things more balanced. Anyways, bye-bye.